So today, I'm gonna set up level streaming uh, on my world. So essentially, what you're gonna need is a large open world map. You're gonna want to have a cult distance volume surrounding the entire world. Uh, and you're gonna want to set it up to uh, exclude objects. And you're also gonna want traffic systems and stuff. Essentially, I'm gonna select this, use view options, only selected, CTRL to deselect items one at a time. I'm also gonna deselect landscape, water, sky sphere. Yeah, that should be good. So essentially I have my levels window open right here. And um, I'm gonna do create new level with selected actors. And here is my sub level folder. So call nine, save. Yes, I'll. Um, Essentially, I have a sub-level system set up. Now I'm going to change streaming method from blueprint to always loaded on this new one. Save all. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to change to perspective. So it's essentially Yeah, I really hope everything is working out. Now I'm gonna place an actor. The actor I'm gonna place is gonna be level stream value. I'm gonna place it right there. I'm gonna move actor into the persistent level scale. I'm gonna make it big. 30. 45. 45. There we go. 50. Actually. This is going to be call guide. Call nine. Okay. And uh, we're going to select call guide, go into level details. Oh no, this is call one. We're going to go into call guide. It is going to be called we died. And we're going to do SVB visibility locking on load. Save on all of them. And yeah. From now on. can move these two into called guide. 
well as this. And uh, this, I want to make sure. Yeah. So uh, yeah, now we have a ceiling volume and a level, a sub level. And when we walk in and out of the streaming volume, it will load and unload this level. So essentially, if we're not in this section of the city, um, these actors won't be slowing down the frame rate and whatnot. So now we're going to save all. And uh, we're going to click build. And we're going to build all. So it's going to build a built data for call 9. And this is going to take a long time. But yeah, level streaming is the best way to make your video game run a lot faster if you have a huge map. So yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait for everything to build, and then we'll come back. Also, always make sure to. Take all of the actors on the edge and make sure that they are in the persistent level, whatever level they're supposed to be in, uh, and that you didn't accidentally add them to the level because it'll cause issues and you'll have to fix them or else you're going to get coding issues if you've already set up all this stuff like I have. I essentially have all of these traffic systems, and if I move one car into the wrong level, I get a bunch of code errors, and I have to fix it. So yeah. The lighting takes a really long time to build, but it will. Essentially, you're going to want each streaming box to cover the section that you uh, want to load and unload. Um, when the character enters and exits them. So yeah. Just waiting for the lighting to build. Takes a long time because there's so many sub-levels. Essentially, you are going to want to repeat the process for every sub-part of your map so that every single piece of your map um, represents its own sub-level that gets loaded and unloaded in the video game when the character enters and exits it. So yeah. Uh, anyway, that's about it. I'm going to show you guys once the lighting finishes building, how to do it. So yeah, I succeeded. Now time to save all the build data and test it out. Because if it crashes, I really don't want to lose everything. And trust me. Alright, as you can see, I have decent frame rate. I used to have like 10 FPS, but now, since it doesn't have to load in everything, after I get like 25 FPS. So yeah. And as you can see, when I enter a new section, it loads in this new section, and when I exit this, it loads that out. And that means that the game is going to run a lot faster. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video, I suppose. See you.
like an enter of cars. That car just hit me. Oh yeah, I just took that car. Yeah. I'm gonna steal this car and see. What happens if I exit this section? And as you can see, when I unload a section while still in a vehicle, it causes issues. So, yeah. It's not perfect, but it's working pretty good for now. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video.